Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Janky. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make free awesome banners uh, for you guys' uh, YouTube channel. So basically, what you guys want to do is go up to your search bar and type in pixlr.com slash editor. And it should bring you to this page. Okay, so next step is you guys want to get a template for your banner. So you guys want to go up to your new tab and type in YouTube banner, banner template. Go to images. Alright guys, and you guys should be able to find it right here. Make sure that the resolution is 2560 by 1440. And then you guys just want to save this uh, to your computer. And then you guys want to open it from your computer. And then it'll show up right here. Next up is you guys want to get your text. So, um, you guys just want to click a little text icon, your type tool. And then just type in your YouTube username. And uh, I'd recommend just making it as big as possible so you guys can see it easiest. And then guys, I'm going to show you how you guys can download any font right now. Alright guys, so basically what you guys want to do is go up to your search bar and type in thefonts.com. And it'll bring you to this really uh, big website of like all these like fonts and everything. There's tons of different categories and all that stuff like that. Um, so, for instance, uh, I'm going to be just downloading this one right here, Drotters. You guys just click the download button right here. Uh, it'll bring up this little thing. You're going to click that. And then click the um, true type font file uh, right here. And then just click install. And then if you refresh your pixel page, it should show up. And you should be able to use it. So, yeah. And then the next step is you guys just have to look for your font. Which is, for instance, I downloaded this font right here, and I'm going to be using it. And, um, yeah, so make sure you guys change it to the color that you want. I'm just going to be using white. And the next step is move this down to wherever you want it to be. And this is important, guys. You guys want to click and left click on your uh, layer with your text and click Reiterize Layer. And then uh, go to Edit free transform and then make sure you guys are holding down shift because if you guys aren't holding down shift whenever you're doing this it'll do all like these weird things so yeah make sure that you guys are holding down shift whenever you guys are uh, moving this around so that as you guys can see it just does that so yeah and I'm just gonna center this the best that I can uh, you guys can also go to layer styles right here uh, you guys can add drop shadows, which I'm going to do, and outer glows, bevel, inner shadow, or inner glow. But I'm just going to do outer glow and um, drop shadow. You guys can just kind of like play around with all like the different things to find the good setting that you guys want it to be at. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do this right here, which I think looks pretty cool. The next step is uh, you guys can move this down, so then it's just like this. And you guys can put any social medias that you guys want. So, for instance, I'm going to put a Twitter logo, PNG. And basically, you guys want to find one with the, uh, these, like, the uh, square outline, like the checkerboard type outline behind it. And you guys just want to left click and then click copy image address. And then you guys want to go up here to layer, open image URL as layer, and then just paste the URL in and it should just show up at least for my instance I just have to drag it up because it was low on the layers next up is uh, free transform and again make sure you guys are holding shift and then just move this over to the side to whichever side that you guys want go to layer style inner glow and then just turn everything all the way up and now just change it to whichever color you want and then as you guys can see, it is the exact color that you want. And you guys can add in your uh, username text. And I'm going to be doing this for my Instagram and my Twitter, so I'm just going to speed this up. And I'll see you guys uh, next time I talk in the video. Another tip that I have for you guys is you guys can move this exactly to where these things are, so the other one is. Uh, just do that. 
and then if you guys apply all changes and then if you get you guys have to go to the move tool and just use your arrow keys to move it directly across so yeah I right, guess so whenever you're done with that, now it is time to work on your background for your uh, banner. So yeah, this is how it should look. And um, you guys have to go up here and then just choose whichever game or whatever background that you guys would like to do. For instance, I'm just going to be doing a Fortnite background for mine. And you guys can choose any of these pictures that you guys can find on the web. So I'm just going to choose this one right here. Copy and address. copy and dress and then uh, make sure that it is in the bottom layer and then you guys just want to add layer and then just paste it in and then what you guys have to do is just edit pre-transform and just fill your home screen up with it and now uh, there's a couple things that you guys can do to change like the background color and you guys can also blur so if you guys go up to filter, box blur, you guys can change the amount of blur, but I think this is good for my specific picture. You guys can also go up here, and you guys can do hue and saturation. You guys can change up the lightness. So I'm going to move it up like a little bit. You guys can change the saturation, which basically makes it light or darker. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. And then you guys can change the hue, which is like the color. I'm going to make mine a little bit orange and uh, colorizing just does something weird but yeah <laughs> so then just click ok and this is like a little tip that i kind of created on my own um what you guys can do is if you guys move your layer uh six or your background layer under your template layer and make sure you're still um clicked on the uh, background layer you guys can get this tool and you guys can just crop out your um, background layer and then it'll go exactly to um, it'll show only on this, so you guys just move back up, boom, you have an awesome banner. Now what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to change like, the whole entire background for your whole entire banner. Uh, so what you guys can do is, uh, I have, this is what I normally use for mine, I normally click on, make sure you guys are clicking your template, and uh, create a new layer, and then you guys can use this tool. And you guys can choose from all these presets, or you can create your own, which I'm just going to create my own uh, by just clicking on these, and you guys can just click here. I'm just going to do white and orange, so I'm just going to click on the black one, and then I'm just going to change this to orange. Off, and then just drag, like, about, about that length. And there you guys go. So there you guys go. You guys just created an awesome banner for your YouTube channel. So... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it helped you guys out, make sure you guys drop a like on this video and share it with your friends. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day, and see you guys later.